What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse Batman vs Superman The Bat Creature. Really strange character choice that Mattel used throwing in the Bat Creature. Um, he was only seen in the actual movie for like maybe one, two seconds, so this is really odd that we get this character. He does come with the final piece of the grapnel gun. So here we do have the bat creature posing out of the packaging, and, or in the packaging, excuse me, let me actually just move the lights a little so you can see him better. Really nice detail on him, we'll go more on that in the actual figure, but a picture of Batman! Surprising! Um, when I was actually going looking for this guy, there is a chance I overlooked him because I was looking for the bat creature picture and here we have Batman. But anyway, it says bat creature with a picture of Batman. Fearing the actions of a godlike superhero left unchecked, the formidable forceful vigilante from Gotham City takes on the re revered modern day savior of Metropolis while the world wrestles with what sort of hero it really needs and with Batman and Superman at war with one another a new threat quickly arises putting mankind in even greater danger than it's ever known before on the back we have a final picture of the grapnel gun as well as a little read up of the DC Comics multiverse figures inspired by comic based character rich entertainment sources such as movies and video games these figures are meticulously designed to be true authentic celebrating many universes of entertaining DC Comics material but anyway we do have the grapnel blaster fully assembled here the entire wave consists of Superman Batman Wonder Woman Armored Batman Lex Luthor Nightmare Batman the Bat Creature and Aquaman, which we've already had a look at every other figure except Bat Creature. So what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get him posed out, out and out of the packaging, then we'll go on to the rest of his review. So sit tight, everyone. And so here we have the Bat Creature posing out of the packaging. Before we get on to the figure, let's actually show off his Collect and Connect Grapnel Launcher piece. If you're wondering which piece this is, this is actually the piece that tabs in right here. If you've been collecting the Grapnel Launcher, uh, my advice to you is do not attach Nightmare Batman's piece just yet because it does need to tab into the main kit barrel and Bat Creature's piece. And if you've already tabbed it into Lex Luthor's piece, you're going to have a hard time as you can see because it tabs in twice for Bat Creature. But really excited I have this. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera. But anyway, here we do have the bad creature, and he there was some assembly on him. You do need to attach his wings, and they're fairly sturdy inside, so you don't have to worry about them popping on and off. But here we do have the bad creature. Now, let's look at a 360 of this guy, and really strange and bizarre character choice on Mattel's part. Um, like I said, if you saw Batman vs. Superman... Bad Creature really wasn't in the movie that long. Uh, I think time-wise, he only comes out for like a second, maybe two seconds. So this is a really strange character choice. Uh, you know, I honestly thought that if they were going to give us something, they would have given us like Lois or maybe a Parademon. But Bad Creature is like really strange. He's not Man Bat, so if you're wondering if this is Man Bat, no, it's not Man Bat, this is Bat Creature. Although, if this is the design they have for Man Bat, it's kind of creepy looking, and I kind of dig it. But, right off the bat, I'm going to say he really doesn't stand all too well uh, just because of the way his feet are designed. And damn, look how crazy his feet are. It's just really, really creepy. Before we get on to his articulation, let's actually get a size comparison of him really fast, so give me one moment and we'll pull some Batman Superman characters on screen, so one moment. So here we have Bat Creature posed next to Batman and you can see that they're, like, it's really strange to say what he is really supposed to be in. Let's actually bring Superman into this picture just so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, like I said, here's Bat Creature posed next to Batman and Superman and he's just really odd like I don't know I I kinda dig him 
he's a really cool looking character. Um, there's some things that could have been done better on him, uh, and I'll go more on that in a little bit, but let's actually go on to some of his detail. Okay, getting bad creatures standing up right. Let's take a look at that head, because that's a really interesting head sculpt, moving bad creature closer to the camera. Camera will focus on his head and not his wings. There we go. Really eerie, creepy looking thing. Um, you can see he has bat ears, and I don't know if that's fur or metal that's supposed to be around his ears, but there is some paint detail there. He has lifeless white eyes, no pupil, no retina, no nothing. Just whited out eyes. And he does have hair going onto the back of his... I'm going to say this is his neck, but just bizarre looking. You can see all the veins and wa wash they use on Bad Creature. Nothing going up there, but just really, really... Like, he has a lot of detail on him. He almost looks like a gargoyle, honestly. Again, more veins. His feet... Like I said, they're just really bizarre looking. Never, never dealt with an action figure that quite like Bat Creature. He even has a little tail right here. So he has a tail, wings. Wings are not articulated, which is a little unfortunate, but... Yeah, just a really strange character. And like I said, I, I like it, but at the same time... Like, there's other characters that I would have liked to have over Bad Creature. And speaking of articulation, let's actually... No, I had a niche on my arm. Let's go on to his articulation. He does have a ball in his head. He can look down and straight. So, he really can't look to the side with his head, but you do get that side-to-side -side movement. And his head rotates... Uh, this way, uh, because his neck attaches and straight in like that, his head w rotates this way. You really can't get him looking all the way down or all the way up. Arms on a ball joint go out about that far. They do get stopped by the sculpt. His arms do a full 360. I forgot to say that he also has these like fins on his arms. But yeah, arms out, full 360. He spins at the elbow. Single joint goes about that far, so you're not going to get much play out of it unless you angle it. But even then, it's still really limited. He has a wrist swivel, if I can show that off. He does have an ab joint, which I think, out of all the Batman Superman figures, his is the best. Uh, you can see he can bend down quite a good bit. He can also bend up quite a bit. Uh, he can't move side to side, but he does get the swivel right there, so really nice range of movement on bad creatures. This is the kind of joint that they need to start incorporating on a lot more figures. Kind of wish that he also had a side to side movement, but that's okay. But yeah, you do get his waist swivel here, and a really nice ab crunch. Nothing in the waist, but legs go forward about that far. Back about that far. They go out quite a bit. He swivels at the thigh. This one's a little stiff. When we get to his knee, that's his knee at the standard point, and then that's as far as it moves. You really don't get much articulation out of his knee. Going down to his heel, we do get quite a bit of range on his heel. Uh, yeah, this is actually his heel, like where his ankle is, so... I forgot what the proper term for this kind of joint is, but you do get a nice, a really nice hinge right there. And then when we get down to his creepy toes, it can come all the way forward. Although I think that is going to be a little difficult having him stand. But it's the same for both legs. And like I said, he's just a bizarre character. And I kind of like him, but at the same time, it's like, why they, why they make Bat Creature? But anyway, what I'm going to do now is pose Bat Creature for my final thoughts. And we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Bat Creature posed for my final thoughts. Overall, interesting character to say the least. I'm not going to say he's a terrible figure, but just really, really interesting. 
Uh, I really don't know what to, much to say about him because, like I said, he wasn't in the movie that long. He was only in for like one, maybe two seconds, like I've been saying. But just really, really interesting figure. Uh, something I wish they would have done better are his wings. Maybe have these articulated somehow. You know, just give us something more with Bat Creature. And then his head sculpt. Uh, I think if they gave him like a, a sneering, angry face rather than this lifeless expression face would have been better. Maybe a little e even creepier if he had like a scowling, roaring, screeching face. But anyway, I found my Bat Creature at Target now. If you're looking for Bat Creature, don't just base your search on the side of the box like I was doing because Bat Creature has the same image as Batman. It's really easy to overlook Batman or Bat Creature if you're looking at the side of the picture so take your time and actually look at the boxes. I have picked my Bat Creature up for $19.99 which came out to about $21 with tax. Uh, is it worth it? I think it is especially because you complete the grapnel launcher if you've been collecting the Batman Superman line which I have, and overall, just a really interesting figure. He'll look, actually, I don't know where he'll look good, because putting him next to Batman and Superman figures, he really doesn't seem to fit in, so if unless you really want this figure, I say pass on him. He's a really cool-looking figure, but I just can't see a lot of people finding a place for him in their collection. With that being said, I'm King Dragons 5000 saying I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a, a comment on this video, like it, subscribe to my channel. Go check out all my other Batman Superman reviews as well as all my other action figure reviews. And don't forget if there's an action figure you guys would like for me to review, just let me know down in the comments. And if I can fit it into my collection and if I like it, I'll, I'll actually consider reviewing it. But anyway, thank you for watching guys. I'm King Dragons 5000. Take care. My dream.